as we're seeing Nigerian content. You don't have a problem with creative with intellectual property. People create incredible intellectual property here, uh, and as it's being consumed by the whole world, there's tremendous demand. And as you see that grow, the demand for create protection of that intellectual property will continue to grow. And I'm so glad that we had a chance to bring the Assistant Secretary of State for Economic and Business Affairs here today to talk about intellectual property and explore ways with members of the industry on how we can continue to work together to, to build up those protections and enforcement. They're creating, they're putting art out there. The problem is a lot of them are not able to uh, financially benefit from it. They're not aware of uh, IP registration, so they're not even protecting their intellectual property. Um, and the lack of spaces such as ACM, which is a new emerging space for people to organize and come together and network, has really been at the detriment. Um, we have this um, general excitement among young people where they want to appear on TV, they want to sing their songs, and you know, for. No, we need to monetize all this. And they need to know that they have opportunity to make money from this. So that in, you know, um, knowledge is very, very extremely important. When you have someone who's able to have those intentional conversations that are thinking about issues that you're not necessarily thinking about, that will be the best way to position yourself in the highest capacity. I think that when you're not having representation and you're having the dialogue by yourself, that leaves you susceptible to issues that you don't want to happen. And I think that when you're able to have someone who's able to have those difficult conversations to talk about your worth and talking about your value and making sure that you are protected is, is, what's, is what is key.